Finally got our picture with the judge. We got sold out! You got sold out! The U.S. dollar has any value is because you choose to believe in it! Well, I don't believe in it! Today we had uh, Jim Gray here at Suffolk University at uh, 73 Tremont. Today is Saturday the 22nd. And um, we had Jim Gray and he was here to tell us uh, what he's running for essentially and what him and uh, Governor Johnson's uh, campaign are running for and uh, what they believe in and what, how they see Obama, how they see Romney, and how they see that they fit in uh, amongst the election. Cool. And who are you? I, I'm Matt Andrews. I'm from Suffolk University Normal. But I, I came down today because I, I think Jim Cray sounds like, sounded like he was really cool. I like Gary Johnson. I know him. I didn't know as much about Jim Cray. Uh, and there's also an uh, audit the Fed rally right after this. So I was going to come here and then go right to that, which is where we're on the way to now. So it seemed like a, a fun general activity. And now maybe I will be a libertarian the rest of my life. Thank you. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so how, how much do you think that your uh, job as a judge influenced that? Argument? You can't be a trial court judge for 25 years and pretty much not see everything that goes wrong in society and wander its way into the court of the in Russia. So why are you here today? I'm here to audit the Federal Reserve and to support Judge Jim Gray. What better reason than that? And honestly, there's something too, and this sounds defeatist, because we are running to win, and, but uh, as a fall, truly fallback position, if we just get 5% of the vote, that means that there will be the beginning of the end of the two-party system, because we will then, in 2016, be entitled to, to matching funds, and also on every state where we get 5% or more, we'll be on the ballot in the following presidential election. So talk about a wasted vote, that is a vote of so in, much importance. We're fully expecting to do it. I'll be enormously disappointed if we only get 5%, because I'm really are running to win. But that's the fallback position. One way or the other, the lesser of two evils is still an evil. Absolutely. Vote for Governor Gary Johnson, the only one that stands up for liberty. You, you were talking about the 5%. That's something I always talk about on the radio show, why people should vote for you. Um, if you guys don't win, and I don't want to be defeatist either, because I, I, I think if you get in the debate, you, you will have a shot. If you don't win, we'll... We, Will Gary come back as a libertarian and run yes. in 2016? Is that the plan? Would I'm, I'm not. I'm not Governor Johnson. I, I, he has said, and I have said as well, that we are libertarians for life. So the answer is, let's talk about. It. We haven't discussed this. We are aiming to win on November the sixth. After November the sixth, I guess we'll take a sigh, and, and uh, within a week or so, he'll decide what he's going to do. I will support him. If he runs again, I will do everything I can to support him. He's the most qualified person to be President of the United States that I know of. He's a young man. He certainly is one of courage. Uh, he is going. He has the fortitude and the caring. So whatever he decides to do, I will support him. I Great to hear. Because, I mean, uh, we look at Ron Paul and how well he did this time compared to four years ago. Yes. And it's like, you, you, it's it seems to me we're building process. something. We just keep building it. Yes. Thank yes. you. We're going to get him. You betcha. I'm Tom Joyce. I'm the president at um, the Suffolk Economics Club. And you guys were uh, part of the bringing Judge Jim Gray to Boston today? Yep. Uh, we collaborate a lot with the Libertarians at SU Normal for uh, events that we bring in. Uh, we were involved in the Jim Gray uh, as well. I'm also part of the Libertarians with Nick. So uh, we always help him. He's on the e-board of the Economics Club as well. So whenever we have a chance, we definitely collaborate and help each other out. And what, uh, do you think the message of liberty and, and, and the Libertarian Party and Gary Johnson is popular at Suffolk? How, how would you think the students re receive that message? Uh, it's it's growing. We, we just started uh, the Libertarians um, at the end of last semester and uh, started rolling out this semester. And so far, it's been pretty good, pretty good feedback. Um, and I'm hoping to grow it. So, uh, I think it's definitely important, and uh, hopefully we can get the word out, get some big attendances. If, if, if there's any students out there watching this at Suffolk, how would they get in touch with you guys? Uh, you can get in contact with the uh, Economics Club by uh, Suffolk Economics at Gmail, and um, the Libertarians also have a uh, Gmail account as well. I don't know if Nick told you, I think it's uh, Suffolk.Libertarians at Gmail as well. Perfect, thank you. Awesome. Thanks. Any other questions by chance? Uh, how concerned are you about the uh, election fraud with voting machines? You know, that's something so fundamental. I don't have any particular information. I've read allegations and the rest of this sort of stuff. It is absolutely fundamental to our system. It's treasonous. That's exactly the word I mean to use, if anybody is involved in any such thing. Uh, and so I'm concerned about it. And I tell you, by thunder, anybody that's involved with that, if we prosecute and convict them, are going to be 
really in trouble. However, I mean, some ways you could actually print out how you go to the vote voting pool and you actually print out your vote. I'm very much against that. Why? Maybe you can show where your vote were and we can all bring them back together and stuff. But the problem is, you have a lot of people out there that people will say, oh, I tell you what, I'll pay you $10 or I'll give you a, 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 some benefit as long as you prove to me that you voted for candidate Smith or whatever else. So that is an amazing problem, too, that we, we do not want to get into. So let's take it real seriously and oversee it because it's fundamental to our system and it simply is intolerable. So we're going to it up there now? Appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. What's your name? Nicole. Nicole. Michael. Michael. Great. Tell us what the QE is. Uh, quantitative easing. What does that mean? Quantitative easing is basically printing more money. <laughs> In general, both the Republican and Democratic Party are guilty of giving our money, inflating our dollar, and making all of our prices way too high for any of us to afford. Thank you, Judge. Love to. Okay, would you mind, would you mind taking the this? People. That's subversive. Good for you. <laughs> Thank you. Darn right. Wait, myself. Good. That, you know, that's the sort of Ready? thing we One, two, three. Yeah. Or do you want me to take one? Um, um, Audit the Federal Reserve? Excuse me, sir, ma'am. Audit the Federal Reserve? Of course not. They're doing just fine anyway. Excuse me, miss? Down the toilet, dude. Find out why. Excuse me, officer. Audit the Federal Reserve? How are you? Hey, He's guys. brother. Because they can. Excuse me, gentlemen. Audit the Federal Reserve? You know anything about the Federal Reserve? Come on, we gotta get you young guys involved. Oh, you guys gotta. Yeah, you're the future, you guys. You know anything about the Federal Reserve? <laughs> it's your money, so you might want to look into it. Have a good make day. We had uh, Judge Jim Gray come speak to Suffolk for brunch. Basically, what he wanted to do was uh, finish off his campaign rally around uh, the Northeast. Basically, what, what he was saying was. Um, they're concentrating on three messages, anti-war, anti-drug war, you know, pro-gay marriage, decrease the, the federal government spending and everything. And, you know, they just felt that, you know, Suffolk is one of these schools that has open minds and you know, they, they felt that this was uh, a good way of drawing more support. Yeah. Awesome. And, you're, and uh, who are you and what do you do at Suffolk? Uh, I'm Nicholas Bonasaro, and I am the president of the Suffolk Libertarians. I am the treasurer of the Suffolk Economics Club, uh, treasurer of the school's critical thinking party. Well, the critical thinkers, basically, like we, we challenge a bunch of ideas. And I'm a member of SU Normal right now. I'm soon going to be like more involved, hopefully on the like on the e-board of that. Um, basically, we're just trying to spread libertarian philosophy, open up people's minds to you know the issues that are going on now. That's, you know, via alternative source of information, not just have the the mainstream media, and that's that's open people's minds up to new sources like Reason Magazine. How many people know about Reason or RT or anything? So let's let's spread some more information. Awesome. And uh, what, what are you supporting? Uh, who who are you voting for for president right now? Um, right now I'm going back and forth between voting for Gary Johnson, I might write in Ron Paul, but you know, definitely libertarian. You know, it's, you know, one question is, maybe I might not, might not even legitimize the system. I, mean, I might just uh, be one of those people that say, you know, I'm not going to vote, I'm not going to say that I, vote, I accept the government as it is. Okay, so... Across the country with the rest of the nation. Every city that has a federal reserve has similar demonstrations happening right now. So we're going to head to Faneuil Hall. We're going to talk to some people. I know we're going to go to the Fed and serve our eviction notice. And the Fed, baby. Expose the scams. Live free or die! Banks got bailed out. We got sold out. Banks got bailed out. We got sold out. Banks got bailed out. We got sold out. Banks got bailed out. We got sold out.
got sold out. We got sold out. We got sold out. We got sold out. No end in sight. No end in sight. Tot, 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 tot,